Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your no contact, okay? Now, if you guys are new here, welcome. And if you are returning to the channel, welcome back. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright like a diamond. All right, you guys, I want to get into a pray because a prayer is always a must here on the channel. We're going to tap into your energy and we're going to pull in this no contact messages from your person, okay? Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. All right, so for this no contact read, all right, I'm going to be attaching another read that you guys might have already seen um at the very end of this read so be sure that you stay tuned for that just in case you might have missed that read i'm going to put it there it's also going to be a no contact for sure okay all right you guys so just know that the roles could be reversed <coughs> and so on and so forth cross watchers are welcome here to watch these reads as well it will not resonate to every single one of you please take what does and leave the absolute rest for sure okay um now if you are interested in having a personal reading done with me you could always contact me using the information that i've provided for you and that will be in the description of today's video okay all right let's put this here all right you guys let's see what's going on here all right angel let's get to work please let's get to work Hope you guys are having a blessed morning, evening, noon, or night, wherever you guys are watching me. Just know that I, Juliana, adore you. Thank you for all the love and support that you show here on the channel. It is not going unseen or it's not going unnoticed, okay? All right. All right, angels, let's get to work, please. For the no contact for Aries. Okay, let's see. All right, so what I'm seeing here, okay? I'm hearing I trusted you. You told me there was nothing wrong. Now I'm wishing you bad karma. Now, I really feel like for some of you guys, you might have really trusted this person here, okay? I feel like you trusted this person to the point where you might have given this person your all, your everything. This person, you either confided with this person, um, you felt like you could just let your guards down and allow this person to come in. Um, I feel like this person might have really made you feel like you couldn't trust them any further, okay? Whatever was going on with you and this person and the connection that you had, now someone is wishing this person very bad karma here. It's just saying that there must have been some words that might have been said. Those words stuck in my head forever. I can never forget even when we make love. So for some of you guys, you know, there must have been some kind of an argument or some kind of a conflict or some kind of a disagreement or whatever it is or was that where this made you really lose um i wouldn't say lost love love is still there but you really felt very hurt very very hurt um about the words that were said during an argument for some of you okay um I do feel like even through that, though, you guys still kind of remain together, even though you felt like you couldn't give this person the same that you usually do. You still made love with this person, but whatever had happened, it didn't go anywhere. This person thought that you might have forgotten, but you didn't forget. It still stuck there. It still stayed there, okay? 
um, did that didn't change. However, you were feeling or hurt or whatever, whatever this person might have did, it didn't go anyway. Um, where is our happy ending? My heart must go on. I'm I'm burnt out and beat up loving you. So you're either feeling very restrained in this relationship. You're either feel like you want to walk away but don't know how. Or this person is just making you feel like you need to let go or you already have. Okay. But whatever is going on here, I feel like it's take it's taking a toll on your heart. It's taking a toll off your happy place. Um, it's making you feeling very lost and very withdrawn here. Maybe you want to really tell this person how you really truly feel, but still don't want to lose this person altogether. I'm hearing sorry you had to find out the way you did. I should have told you. So this person is saying, you know, they're truly sorry for the way that you found out about what is breaking your heart here. Um, they wish that you didn't have to find out the way you did, but they know deep in their soul and heart that you had to find out some way. If they wasn't the one that was going to tell you, then you would have heard it someplace anyway. The way that you might have found out is not the way that they wanted you to, but it had to happen some way. And for that, they are truly sorry. I should have really told you. I should have been the one to tell you instead of you going and finding out this elsewhere. It made things even worse. I can't be with you right now. I've got things tied up with the past. It's going to take time. So this person is saying that even though they would want to be with you and even though they're really sorry about what you found out and it really hurt like hell, even though, you know, they have a connection with you, even though there was miscommunications, even though there is maybe distance between you and this person, they're truly saying that they can't be with you right now. They cannot give you what you really truly need right now because of a past situation. They're very tied up. They're tied up. Tied up from the floor up, okay? And it's going to take time for them to get rid of what needs to be getting rid of in order to give you any kind of a substantial commitment that you're looking for right now. Just let me in. I can't get you out of my head though. I want to marry you someday. I want to be with you someday. But I just can't do that right now. You have to allow me to do what I need to do as far as my connection is with what's connected to me. But I just can't give you what you need right now. I just can't do it right now. I feel some of you is like devastated because this is not a part of the plan is what I'm hearing. That wasn't a part of the plan here. You, you, your, your entire family came between us. Honestly, I think they put a spell on me to be with you. Your person's feeling like maybe you have family members who kind of did something to them. Or oh, whatever is going on. How they feel and why they think that. There you go. Again, That's this is confirmation. The spell you put on me um, don't work anymore. I sent it back to you. Okay. So somebody, this could be you or this could be them. You're either feeling like they might have done something to you, but they feel the same. The feelings are mutual here. The feelings are mutual. They're feeling like, you know, family and friends might have done something, some kind of a, 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 a spell that was cast here. They're feeling like you might have done that too, and so do you. Let me have one more card here, and then I get to the tarot. Tell me more, please. Okay, here it is. Came through very fast. I cheated on you with a third party. Now they are cheating on me. Talk about bad faith, right? Your no contact is saying that. <laughs> they did cheat on you. Confession. I did. I know I did. 
You found out the, uh, the hard way. You shouldn't have found out the way you did. Other people told you that I did. And I'm sorry for that. I wish you didn't find out that way. Yes, I'm dealing with a situation here that I'm caught up and wrapped up in a past connection here. I can't leave that person right now. I can't be with you right now because it's going to take some time if you could wait things out. Maybe it could, but not right now. The entire family is, is in between the relationship with us. There's spell work involved and all kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of things on the plate that you're going to have to make a decision about. Let's see where this person's mindset is right now as far as what it is that you really should have here. All right. Let's Okay, what is it? What's the no contact here, please? What's the message for the no contact here? Okay, so we have the five of pentacles, the six of pentacles here. The Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups in the reverse, the Judgment here, the Ace of Pentacles, and then we have the Strength in the reverse. I really feel like, you know, something is really changing here. Something is about to change in your life for sure. Something new is going to happen for sure. Um, but there's a decision that needs to be made here with the Judgment being here. The Judgment and the Ace of Pentacles. Where Whatever needs to be changed here, if you're not able to make this decision, then the angels are going to be making this decision on your behalf here with these two. So that way that this, this manifestation period will be able to move forward. Something new here. This could be you just tapping into marriage goals and investing more of time and energy and effort in you and what it is that you really truly need as far as manifestation. Manifesting your life exactly how it needs to be done. Okay? Um, but for some of you guys, I really feel like at this point you're either thinking like you're investing something here or you already have. Um, and you might have done that with the six of pentacles all right but this person wasn't very appreciative someone doesn't appreciate what you was given in here the six of pentacles the eight of uh, cups in the reverse this person just left this person walked away um from uh, something that you were building here something was been built here this person walked away for some of you, there was no closure on why this person was walking away after you felt like everything was good. Yes, y'all yeah, was having differences, but something happened very abruptly here where judgment is coming in. Someone's heart has been taken out. It's like something just kind of ripped. It felt like your entire world just shattered. Someone just kind of ripped something out from your chest, okay? But something new is happening here, but I do feel like you really have to um, gather your strength here, okay? Because your strength right now is in the reverse. Gather your strength and gather your confidence here to move forward and to rebuild a structure. Rebuild your faith. Rebuild your peace. Rebuild your calmness. Rebuild your wisdom. Rebuild your knowledge. Just re rebuilding something. Something needs to rebuild. It is a feeling of just decluttering, decluttering your entire house. And bring in positive energy in towards you because right now a lot of you just feels like you lost everything here. Okay. All right. What is this? What is the strength in the reverse? Okay. So that is the, the chariot in the reverse. All right. So some of this is still feeling either stuck or caught up or just not moving or something is just decided that it's not moving period someone either either ran out of options here because something is moving rather so someone chose to make things appear that way okay the nine of wands the king of cups in the reverse so this person is definitely hard to deal with 
okay and not only are they hard, hard to deal but they're definitely hiding something something is not going right some so this person may be very um not ready to kind of settle a score as far as being positive about a situation um someone is either still holding on to something here that seems to be in the delay with this uh, nine of wands here and still beating like there's a struggle into this delay someone just chooses not to let go even though one needs to the nine of wands the king of cups in the reverse and then the five of swords also in the reverse so there's a loss of some sort here where, where there was dishonesty or something just came to an end here because of betrayal for some of you already know this what is the chariot in the reverse the chariot is the page of swords the page of swords in the reverse with the two of pentacles the two of pentacles is the two of wands in the reverse the five of wands also in the reverse and the five of cups a lot of five five fives here okay now i do feel like you know right now um you're either feeling very intimidated by this person or this could be them okay because this person comes with a lot of drama here in the reverse they're intimidated by you Okay, this person is, I feel like they're either expecting something or the expected, their expectation from you is very high when their energy is very low. This is a form of sickness because they stay juggling a lot of things here. Very juggled, very struggled, very out of the norm here. Um, this could be love or this could be disloyalty. This could be whatever is going on, why they choose to juggle something here. This is causing fear and this is why the two of wands is also here in the reverse. There's a lot of trouble here, not only fear, but I do feel like there's some kind of a surprise here that is not coming together. Someone is not choosing not to take an offer here to move and to still be trapped into this five of wands. But, however, the five of ones is in the reverse. The five of ones in the reverse and the five of cups. So, whatever is going on with this right here, it's, it's a lot of going back and forth here. But I do feel like you're either walking away from this because you, it's taking too much energy. It's taking too much toll. You're already investing in here. And you're done. It's over. The five and the five. Okay? There's a lot of embarrassment here. Feeling shame. Feeling very lost here. Okay? Um, but this person is not there. Someone is choosing not to be there. What is the five of cups in the reverse and the five of wands? The devil. Hmm. What's the devil? The five of pentacles. So there's definitely a confirmation of a third party here. Okay. Um, I do feel there's also some form of toxicity or something here that is very toxic for you. Uh, someone either needs to stay focused or move on. Okay. Um, this toxicity, I feel like someone is either drinking, dealing with the drug, drug addiction or um, alcohol or sexual addiction or someone is dealing for, with something from their childhood or the third party situation gone wild. Third party situation confirmed with the five of pentacles. I also feel like, you know, you're either ready to walk away or you should because someone might have left you with some kind of hardship or burden or whatever. Okay. This no contact is having me feel like someone is coming back. Someone is coming back with some kind of a reconciliation, a peace offering or something. But you're manifesting your heart here, which is trying to set yourself free. Right now, your energy for some of you guys is, is in the reverse. The Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Magician also in the reverse. So whatever you're dealing with right now is, could be very destructive for you. Okay, It's destructive for you because I do have the Knight of Wands here. Where this person's energy right now is like, you know, yes, I want to come back and I want to fight for the relationship. But I feel like the fighting for the relationship comes with hard work. Because your energy is, is blocked with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And not only do I feel like it's blocked, I feel like um, their love that they need to give you, that's delayed because of the third party. And something feels very false. Very false or very phony or very fake. Whatever is going on right here with this reconciliation. What is the devil and the five of pentacles? 
That's one too many. What's the devil and the five of pentacles? Okay. Okay, so we have the queen of swords. Wow, the queen of swords. Oh, let's tap into that queen of swords in the reverse. What is that? The queen of swords in the reverse. Okay. So the queen of swords in the reverse is to clarify the six of wands also be here in the reverse. Okay. So moving forward though, right? I do feel like for some of you guys, it's, it right now is all about... Um, it, this could be this person, it could be you, take it how it sits to you or how it resonates with you. But someone either feels very lost or feeling like a loser here. Or just feeling like this person is either disloyal or, or this could be you or whoever, whatever is going on. But someone feels like they're dealing with the enemy. The enemy. The queen of swords in the reverse energy blocks. Blockages on top of blockages here where you're feeling either defeated or just self-absorbed here, or just feeling lost or ashamed, moving forward into something that you feel like is over and done. Just simply because they're blocked to help you. The Knight of Swords in the reverse, the Queen of Cups also in the reverse. Someone is either dealing with health issue. If this is not them, this is you. But that person seems to be hiding their feelings or coming in for a second chance or whatever is going on with this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups are temperance. Something is blocked. There's something going to be. You shouldn't rush into anything here moving forward. Be patient with what your heart wants over what your heart needs. This is what I'm seeing. They're about to lose you and they know that. The Nine of Cups. They, they, they know that. Because there's a lot of ego. There's too much ego that is coming in. Very cold here at times. On and off. Not really sure what they want. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Alright. What's the Six of Wands in the reverse? Purify this. What's the Six of Wands in the reverse? The Temperance and the Nine of Cups. This comes right back. Nine nine two nine eighteen. Okay. There's still struggle. There's also there's still a delay here, and just somebody's still lost. Don't know where to go. Don't know where to turn here. Well, honey, baby, let me tell you something. If you can't make this decision for yourself, the temperance is the angels are there to make sure that something happens because the cycle cannot continue. The high priestess. High priestess in the reverse. There's no trust here. Your intuition already tells you that you can't trust whatever is coming towards you. You're the eight of wands. You can't trust because there's a lot of dispute, a lot of jealousy that is coming in here. Um, even though, you know, at this point with this eight of wands, it's like something that wants to come to you very fast. But if it's coming to you very fast with broken promises, are you not just giving yourself the love that you want to give in you? Then, honey, take a break. It's time to rest and retreat. Right? Okay. What is the Eight of Wands and the High Priestess in the reverse? The Four of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So this person is stubborn. They hold on to the way that they feel. They will not let up. Very, very stubborn. Okay. Very stubborn. Very unsure. Bringing anxiety towards you here. Coming towards you with something that is either fake or phony. Put a situation on hold. Taking their own time to make a decision here. And yet, very, very afraid. They're afraid to lose you. They're scared. Scared to lose you, but still showing like they have no faith. What is this? Hmm. Time to make a decision. Because that's what we're talking about. This fear. The three of wands. That's in the reverse. Right? There's definitely no movement. Someone is either disappointed or this could be you. Okay. Lesson not learned because someone is still choosing to be stuck because there's no luck here. Third party is your confirmation in the reverse. 
I feel like it's time that you heal from this. Um, let it go. Move on. Move forward. There's too much confusion. There's too much distraction. It's time to go. Let it go. It's a hell to the now. The King of Swords here and the, and the Ace of Swords. The King of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Something new wants to come towards you. Something new. It's time that you let go and let God. Let God deal with that. Because if you're not wearing your crown right now, then it's going to be a frown. What is the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords? Two swords at the top of that. The Queen of Cups. The Justice in the Reverse. So there's a separation here. Some kind of a separation here. You guys are either, if you're married, you're about to be divorced. Or someone is talking about this. Someone is either ready to file papers. Someone is ready to, for something new. All right. Something very new. Someone wants to start something fresh. Someone wants to give their heart to someplace else. The Queen of Cups, the Justice in the Reverse, and the Ace of Cups. Someone is about to suffer a massive loss here. But someone still wants to have a commitment here. But with this commitment comes trouble. The Eight of Swords. Conflicts. And feeling stuck and restricted because of lies. Constant lies that they come towards you with the Knight of Swords. If they're not fighting for your heart correctly, then fight someplace else. Because miserable doesn't live here anymore with the tower. No, it's a hell to the now. Mm -mm. What is the Eight of Swords? What is the Eight of Swords? The two of swords. It's over. It's done with it over. You're meeting somebody else. You're moving on. You're healing yourself from this ten of swords. It's it's too much. Too much burden. Too much struggle. You no know, contact is that made me feel like a cycle is ended. A cycle is ended because someone is not ready to end their part of what needs to make something set in stone here. The higher hops are calling in. They're calling in. They're bringing their angels in to fight. To fight a battle. This battle has to be won. It has to be won with you being the victorious one here. Because someone is choosing to be too laid back here. Want to have the cake, the high cholesterol cake, and eat it all by them damn self. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? All right, you guys, this is going to be your no contact. Um, I'm going to add another read to this one. It's also going to be a no contact, okay? So just be sure that you stay tuned. It's going to be at the end. It will definitely say pre-uploaded, so you'll know that I have uploaded it already. But go ahead and watch it because you might have missed it. Because you know this YouTube thing, honey? It's, it, honey, YouTube has been shadow blocking my videos. Like literally shadow blocking my videos. And not only YouTube has been shadow blocking my videos, but the witches has been doing that as well. Okay? So that way you that guys don't get the prayer. The most important part of your read, you guys, is the prayer part. So don't skip that. That is where your blessing comes in. They want you to skip it when it comes on. For some of you, they want you not to get the reads at all because I pray. And I tell you guys, if you do need to have a prayer request, go ahead and ask me for one. They don't. A lot of people email me and told me that they can't even comment on my videos. They can't even like my videos. They can't even subscribe to my videos. Because I've been shot a block. Not only by YouTube, but by the witches on here. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. But you know what? Who's meant to watch this? These reads will get it. Um, in the name of Jesus. Okay. I love you guys to the moon and stars. Continue to pray for me as I'm always praying for you. And again, if you do need to have a prayer request, please put your initials down in the comment section. It could be a friend, a family member, or whoever you want a blessing to go out for. But always, you guys, pray for me as I'm praying for you. Pray for my sissy poo as well. Um, because she needs it more than ever. When I say she needs it more than ever, I mean she needs it more than ever. Thank you so, so, so much for all the donations that were sent from everyone. Um, I appreciate all the donations, you guys. It means a lot. 
Um, I did not, I did not, I did not go do a GoFundMe like you guys have requested me to do. Um, but if you want to send a donation, it will be more than appreciated. You could send it to my cash app or however you choose to send it. Um, you could always text me and let me know that you want to send a donation and I will give you further instruction on how to send it. You could even donate it to the channel right here on YouTube. However you want to do it, you go ahead and do it, all right? But I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um, I will see you in the next one. I wanted to do... Um, I think I wanted to do a 24 hours. I think I want to, I'm going to do a quick 24 for you guys, okay? After this one. I'm not sure if you'll see it tonight. You'll maybe see it tomorrow, which is going to be Saturday. But I think I'm going to do that before I shut shop. Uh, I love you guys. Um, don't forget to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to your channel, honey. Welcome back to your channel. It's always a blessing to have you guys here. If you are here for your first time, I welcome you. And if you are returning to my channel, I welcome you guys back here with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine like a diamond. Now, Aries, for your no contact, okay? Um, I'm going to get into a prayer first. Tap into your energy and pull these messages through. For some of you, you may be in separation already with your person or you're just going through a bump in the road. Are you trying to find some clarity as to why you guys feel so distant? Let's get into it um, and see what angels wants you to know right now for your no contact, okay? Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessing and for, for myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, peace and the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Aries, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one. Um, it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you at this moment and leave the absolute rest. It could pull in your person, whether it's a past person, a present one, or a future one. The roles could also be in reverse. Your person is your person you're thinking about right now. That is your person, okay? Now, cross watchers, please do the absolute same. It, it's the same goes for you. Nothing has changed, okay? Now, if you do need to have a personal reading, personal reading is available on the channel. All you have to do is connect with me using the information that I have provided for you guys in the description of this video for personal reading. All right, you guys, let's see what your challenge is for your no contact at this present moment. Well, what's the challenge here, please? What's the challenge here, please? What is the challenge for Aries at this time for the no contact energy? What is the challenge at this time for Aries and the no contact? What's the challenge here, please? What is the challenge? What is the challenge at this time for Aries? All right, so Aries, your challenge is freedom, okay? Um, I do feel like, you know, right now, for some of you, you're just tired of being sick and tired, aren't you? You're tired of being sick and tired. You're tired of wondering where this person mindset is. You're tired of waiting, playing the waiting game. Um, I do see a sense of moving on. For some of you, you just either want to feel free again. For some of you, you're just tired of waking up and doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. For some of you, you just want to escape. But you're finding it so hard to release. You're either feeling like something is either holding on to you here um, feeling like, you know, no matter how you try to get away from this situation to set yourself free, it's like this is something that's holding you back. It's something that you're having a hard time walking away from. Well, let's see. What was on the back of your deck, okay, uh, was the voyage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I had just gotten this. For the last read that I did for you guys, okay? This is you setting yourself free. Look at that. Okay? 
<laughs> you're needing this, okay? It's time to let go because you're feeling overwhelmed and overburdened here. Very overwhelmed and very overburdened. Oh my goodness. I'm just like in total bliss right now, okay? Because I'm having a sudden rush of deja vu, okay? This is what I'm having. It's like I'm, I'm hearing deja vu, baby. Every time I see Beyonce song, okay? However the hell that goes. But I'm having deja vu. But it's serious, deja vu. I'm having deja vu, you guys. Oh, my goodness. What is this? What is this that I'm seeing here? Please clarify these messages, please. Please, please clarify these challenges here. Please clarify this challenge at this time. Angels, universe, my spirit guides here. Angels, look at that. Angels are have something to say to you guys. Oh my goodness. What is it that you guys want to say here? Use my body as a vessel here to spread love and clarity for the ones that needs to know at this time. Use my body as a vessel, angels, to spread love and clarity for the ones that needs to know. wasting any time right yes you guys saw that right okay it's like that one just flew flew like it had wings okay all right so there's definitely a phone call that's coming in okay all right so i feel like your no contact is really having me feel like you were probably in separation here um already right but I do feel like there's something that you're either waiting to hear. Um, but I feel like whatever you're trying to hear is coming. All right. Um, I do see you getting a call. Maybe you're going to be very annoyed with this call that's coming in. Um, I do feel like it may be something that's very disappointing. Um, you just don't want to hear nothing from that situation right at this point. Um, because at the end of the day, you're walking on eggshells here. Um, you're walking on eggshells. It's like you have things to say, but you just don't want to say it because you don't want to put the fire to the fire. <laughs> okay. It's like you don't want to put any, um, I would say, um, kerosene oil. You don't want to throw any more damn oil on the fire, okay? Because you feel like if you do that, it's just going to, it's just going to get worse. Um, things are just going to get out of proportion and, you know, for some of you, you, you know, you may have children or maybe not, but it's like at the end of the day, you feel like you're walking on eggshells here. Okay. You feel like, you know, you don't want to use your throat chakra here. You don't want to use your damn third eye. You just don't want to do nothing here because you don't want this person to either, um, go further away or arguments come up or you just don't want to do that anymore you don't want to argue anymore you don't want to fuss anymore um what you really want is to be free you want freedom you want to be happy here all right let's see let's see what angels have to say here all right messages please let me have some messages here please angels at this time okay all right so yeah, we have some red flags now, didn't we? All right, so someone was seeing the red flags way before it got to this point, okay? There were so many signs, you guys, all right? Um, but I do feel like someone is stuck in the relationship that they don't want to be stuck in. But I damn well feel like... For some of you guys, it's all about separation here, Okay? Um, you're either feeling stuck, or this could be them, or you're either dealing with a damn separation here that you feel like you're still stuck. You know how you you in a relationship with someone and you guys are just not seeing eye to eye and 
that person either moved out or this could be damn you that moved out, moved, moved out. But even though you guys are not under the same roof, you still feel like you're stuck with that damn person. Um, even though you're in separation, you can't move on. You can't even be with anyone else if that's what you really truly want to do here because you still feel like you're stuck in this place. Even though you're not in this under the same roof here, you still feel rather stuck here, okay? You still feel like, like this person got a hold on you or something. What is this? What is this here? Tell me more, angels. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh, oh, oh okay. All right, so there's a secret situation that's happening here with this entire connection, okay? Um, a secret lover that's coming in. The secret lover is telling me that there was something very unexpected here. This person could have been the sleep test separate with your friend or your friend separate the person. Who the hell knows, okay? But something was kept in the secret here. That's that's why someone might have broken their trust with you here. Trust was broken. Mm-hmm. Because of sex situation happened here. Oh my god. Mm-mm. Tell me more. Because honey, honey, honey. Something unexpected took place here. Something was in the kept in the dark here, but it definitely revealed itself here. But yes, there was definitely some signs. This is what I'm seeing. The signs are called red flags, honey. Red damn flags here. Mm. Tell me more. <clears throat> Tell me more, angels. Let me have some more messages here, please. Some more messages here, please. What's the message at this time for Aries? What's the message at this time for Aries, please? Okay. So it could be someone from the past here. Um, it could be an ex, an, an ex lover. Someone that's the ex that's causing or creating a problem here. Um, I'm here in lust. Okay. So this, these two people might have had a connection. Um, from way back the hell when, okay? This could have been something that they're not able to get over. Secret lover. Ex unexpected. Who knows? This might have been going on for some damn time. But it feels rather, um, toxic here. This is how it feels. Rather toxic. Someone wants to get, get away from this, though. Someone is knowing that it's not healthy. It's not bringing any happiness. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Walking away from this situation here. Because at the end of the day, you feel like this person is bringing a whole lot of drama here. A lot of drama. I'm hearing decisions. This is what I'm hearing. All right, tell me more. Please clarify these messages, please. All right. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. What is the Nine of Pentacles here? What's the Nine of Pentacles? The Nine of Pentacles is the Ace of Cups. All right, so what is the Ace of Cups? The Ace of Cups is the Devil. Okay. So at this time, um, I do feel like you guys are really trying to make a change here. Um, you're drifting away. Or you're trying to drift into something that is more positive, that is going to send you joy and bliss and happiness here. Um, the Nine of Pentacles telling me that you are ready to really evolve. You're ready to manifest in you and put in all the love and self-care that you need at this time. Situations in your life right now is calling um, you to have independence. It's calling for you to have self-realization for some of you, okay? And that situation really um, confirms this Ace of Cups. Um, that you need to get yourself prepared to have a new beginning here in love. In love and loyalty here. However, because we also have the devil here, okay? And because your readers are ready to start something new, you're ready to kind of branch out and be happy. And not only being happy in love, but you're also being happy in manifesting your financial stability and security. But you are in a, have a situation here where there's a rat on the loose, okay? Um, 
I feel like you need to kind of set some boundaries here. Um, I do feel like this is something that is really attached to something that is very, um, let's just say, not only is it karmic, but it's also something that's toxic for some of you that you have you, you don't need to be dealing with at this particular moment. For some of you guys, it these boundaries are calling for you to create um, your life in a certain situation that once a toxicity comes towards you, you'll know how to navigate around it. That makes any sense, okay? Um, I do feel like there may be drugs situation or drinking situations or sexual addiction situations, but it could be a lot of um, addictions or whatever. This could be childhood trauma that, you know, this could be you or your person is connected to childhood trauma, but it is really affecting your judgment or this could be them. Okay. Please clarify this devil here, please. Okay, so the devil is the three of cups that showed in the reverse, um, and then we have the star here as well. Okay, so what I am seeing here um, right now is a feeling of you not being granted what you need here. Um, whatever it is that you're dealing with, um, you're you're falling short, or they have fallen short with you. Um, I do feel like there's nothing coming in as far as you moving into something grand. As far as you sharing success with this person or them sharing with you, something is on hold here. Something um, is in delay for some of you as far as the love that you support, that you might have been expecting here, okay? Now, just know that because the star is here and it's all about reconstructing one's life on a mental level, okay? Um, I really do see where your deepest dreams are coming true. For some of you need to know that. Um, I feel like it's time that you need to heal in order for you to realize that dreams are coming true for you. Okay, Whatever that you are praying for is happening. What is the star here, please? It's all about manifesting the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay now, okay now, okay. This is all of your values. It's your values, you guys. Your values, your words, your love, loving you. Loving all of you, all of you. Not just a part of you, but every single last inch of you, okay? Your life do, what part in your life do you uh, hold value to the most? It's you, all of you, all of you, every single inch of you. Um, just remember this, um, Aries, no one are cross watchers. Whoever is watching this, absolutely no one can love you the way that you love yourself, okay? You are your biggest cheerleader. You are your number one fan. You are your own <laughs> provider. It doesn't matter if you were connected to someone that was giving you a million dollars. You have to be your own million dollars, okay? Give yourself all of you. Love all of you and everything else comes secondary. Everything is secondary, you guys, okay? The love of God is to show you the way how to love yourself and to bring light into your life so that when that light shine, Others will be able to see that light. But if your light goes dim because of your faith and how you love on you, honey, nothing is going to rise. Everything is going to fall short and then you feel very burdened and very stressed and very out of place. Love on you, honey, because love starts with you and only you. That is going to be your read um, for the night, you guys. Um, I hope that this one did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel again if you have not done so already, okay? Now, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one simply by leaving your initials down below. Pray for me, you guys, as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.